Oh hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. Today we're going to talk about electrical code outlet heights. Uh, there's a variety of different ones, so stick around and we'll go through each one. So the code has recently changed. Um, now we're required to mount outlet boxes exactly 16 inches off the floor. Before, previously it was 14 inches, but uh, the new code states that we need to bring them a little higher. And this is for the reason of handicapped clients so that they can reach down from the wheelchair and plug something in. As well as, uh, now we had to drop switches down to 44 inches. So we used to previously put switches at 50 inches, but we've had to drop them down to 44. Now there are a variety of other code rules uh, that apply to different outlets, so uh, we'll move on to the dry receptacle. So a dry receptacle actually has to be 900 millimeters off the floor, or 300, uh, sorry, three feet, 36 inches as well as the washer receptacle. And the reason for this is because most washers and dryers have only a three foot cord on them um, and they need to uh, reach the cord or if they're stackable, they need to both be able to reach from top and bottom. Now fridge receptacles uh, need to be at a height of 600 millimeters or two feet from the floor. So this is actually a code rule that we, we mount these fridge receptacles at this height. Again, because some full-size fridges, the cord comes from the top and it comes with a six foot cord. So they wanna be sure that it's gonna reach uh, to plug the appliance in. Now electrical code uh, for counter plugs is completely different again. We need to go at 44 inches, place so far apart. So as you can see, we have uh, counter receptacles here mounted at 44 inches. They can't be any higher than 44 inches uh, on the back of the counter. Uh, usually standard counters are 36 inches and they must be uh, within every three feet of wall space. So between two receptacles, we're allowed to have up to six feet. And the reason for this is because uh, most appliances that you plug in on the countertop only have three foot cords on them. So they want it that you can plug in uh, uh, an appliance anywhere you sit on that counter. So from the edge of the wall, we're allowed to come out three feet and we have to have a counter plug. And we're allowed to group them in groups of two at a height of 44 inches. So as we go along, we have two counter plugs here. We would have two counter plugs here. And then we'd have another counter plug over here. Any additional counter space that is over 10 inches wide requires a counter plug on it because they say that you can set something on it. Now garage door opener outlets obviously have to be mounted on the ceiling. There's no code height for that, uh, but it does have to be within 12 inches of the garage door opener so that you can plug it in on the ceiling height itself. Also in a garage area, general working space, uh, when we do outlets, we usually keep them at four feet. And the reason we do this is when we go around the garage, um, you wanna be able to reach and usually you'll have a bench. So this is how we plug things in. So there's a few short code rules for you about electrical code outlet heights. Um, hope you liked uh, the video and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video.